Hi everyone and welcome back to our tutorial employee payroll management system this is part 20 and today we're going to learn how to um, add or generate uh, a user account for our employees automatically so basically if I go to my database and see here I've got an employee called Capadon and his ID is 5 so if I go to the users here I can't see a user for Kappa. I have to create it manually now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, write a code in my add record button here which will enable me uh, anytime I added a new employee the code is going to check and see if the ID here matches uh, a column here. So I'm going to create a new column here and it will check if that ID, if this ID here uh, is not in the users uh, I'm gonna create a column here and if it's not there it's gonna create a username and a password for that specific employee now it doesn't make sense but once I write the code it's gonna make more sense to you so um, let's start off by creating a, t uh, a new uh, column here uh, just go here so we call it M underscore ID and just gonna have it like uh, whatever Vitor whatever just add the column yes and now you can see it so if I go here you can't see anything here there's no values here um, so um, let's write the code and then come back here and see uh, what what's this code is all about so just double click the add record and scroll down just under here before the finally and um, we're gonna create a try and catch so you're gonna say try and we're gonna say catch um, exception A and then we're gonna say J uh, option pane dot show message dialog uh, null and then we say e and here uh, we gotta see here right so just here and the try and um, we're gonna write our query to check to see if this ID here for that this employee is here and the input and the imp ID if it's not there it's gonna create a username and password right so we're gonna say string sq equals and then you're gonna say select all from staff information where ID not in select ID from users sorry I mean amp ID sorry so we're gonna say uh, PST equal con dot prepare statement and we say SQ right and then we're gonna say RS equal PST dot execute query and then we're gonna say while rs dot next I'm just gonna do this right so I'm gonna say string uh, add one equals rs dot get string I'm gonna get the ID so we're gonna say ID and then we're gonna say string add to equals rs dot guest string and then we're gonna say first name so we're gonna get the ID of the employee and the first name. and then we're gonna say string add three and we're gonna get the date of birth so the date of birth is gonna be the password and the first name is going to be um, 
the user name. So we're gonna say the date of birth, but since date of birth, we add we are adding uh, a slash to it. So we're gonna remove the slash. So we're gonna say string result equals add at three dot replace um, the slash with nothing. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna say string add four equals rs dot guest string and then we're gonna say the department so we're gonna get which department that employee is n uh, I've got an error here. What's the error? Ah, there it is. Right. So, um, now we're going to write the SQL to insert to our users. So, what's going to do? It's going to look for the employee ID and imp ID from our users here. If it do not find it, it's gonna insert to this table, right? So what we're we 